Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I've come to a, a place just on the outskirts of Bodmin Moor. Claire's having a relaxing day after yesterday. We went on a down to the lizard and exerted ourselves a little bit, but the boys are playing video games. Claire's relaxing, so I thought, well, I'll come to this place. Uh, if the wind holds up, I'll put the drone up as well. And I'm at a place called Rough Tour. Um, this, in fact, I'll spin this round. I'm going to climb up there where, similar to the minions on Bodmin North, there's some stones that are all stacked up. So I thought it would be an interesting place to come. Anyway, so I'm going to climb up to the top. So uh, come along with us. Because I thought someone had left a barbecue up here. But I'm not too sure what they're for. See? These like little houses. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Maybe if someone's Local to a bit more. Maybe you can tell me. Maybe a local craftsman makes them. But why put them up here? Strange. Now, Claire and I. Hopefully, you can hear me here. Claire and I always have to conversations where these stacked by man or if they just weathered that way not necessarily these ones but the more oval shaped ones that are like stacked like big pebbles stacked one on top of the other my guess is maybe not so much these ones because these are absolutely huge even with horses and ropes there's no way you could move these which then you could argue tends to go for the argument that just weathered this way see that one it looks as though it's been dragged there and the reason why I say they've been stacked by man is if we climb up here and to me that, have they just weathered like that I've no idea maybe you could uh, leave any comments what you think see that looks stacked to me man manually stacked What's everybody's thoughts on it? So I've had a good fly of the drone. I just hope you can hear me because it is so windy. I've had a good fly of the drone. I was going to go up to that third peak, but I've just run out of time. I've had that much fun with the drone. I've just run out of time. It's just very disappointing, but... I'm definitely going to come back up here if we ever come down to Cornwall again. I, 
we're hoping an hour and about next year. But look at it, it's just a really strange place. Amazing views up here. 360 degree views. I suppose I better climb to this second highest bit. I've left me bag unattended. I don't think there's anybody here now. There you go, at least I got to the top of the second peak. I just hope you can hear me. Because it is absolutely gusting up here. Right, we've got a bit of shelter here. The sun's gone in. And the wind's dropped. I think it's just because we're behind this uh, peak, but it's nowhere near as bad. Maybe you'll be able to hear me now. I just had to climb this last peak, I couldn't not. Very, very windy. Um, I just hope you can, yeah, Bennett was able to hear half of what I was saying. But um, an absolutely unbelievable place. I've come round here in the shelter, it's not so windy on this side, these rocks. I'm just going to hope head down to the car uh, and then I'll end the vlog down there. And here we are. See, it doesn't look that far away. My God, when you're a big fella like me, boy, whew, knackered now. This way, it was a bit squishy underfoot and there was a bit of a pool at the top of those hills. And it, it was a bit squishy in places and you can actually see where it's come down to its lowest point, to this little stream here. There's something very soothing and calming about a stream. I absolutely love them. Just that noise. Stone Bridge. There's a war memorial, memorial over there. I don't think I can get to it, unfortunately. <sighs> Never mind. Right. Another hill to climb. I've just noticed this sign. Livestock worrying as a crime. Your dog must be kept on the lead at all times when livestock is present. Bit of common sense, really, isn't it? But I have to agree with this sign. Cornwall, area of natural outstanding, an area 
of outstanding natural beauty. I have to agree with that. And you're probably wondering, he's wearing silly headgear again. I know, it's a bandana. I've started wearing them this holiday because I get dead sweaty being a big guy, as, you, as I keep saying. And I get a bit sweaty and it runs into my eyes and makes my eyes sore, so I thought, what can I do? A bandana. It beats a tennis headband, I suppose. Uh, it does the job. <laughs> it works, so... Anyway, enough of my headgear. I hope you enjoyed this little visit to Rough Tour on the edge of the Bodmin Moors. Um, thank you for joining me and uh, don't forget, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, it really helps us out, please consider it. Uh, so until next time, that just leaves me to say, as usual, ta -ra.